Hi angels, it's your girl Heaven. Today I'll be giving you guys freshman tips as a upcoming senior. I'm finally a senior. I'm scared and gonna lie, but um hopefully this year brings peace, just blessings. Like I'm I'm excited to finally be done, but at the same time I'm scared. Like first tip, mind your business. Don't be everybody else's business. Do not try to fit in. Mind your business. Mind your business, mind your business. Don't try to get nobody else stuff. I don't care if that's your friend. She can handle her own unless you really need to be there. Don't be doing the most trying to fit in and stand out because, you know, in the long run, it's just going to cause you drama with hella people and it just gets you nowhere. Tip number two, get everything done your freshman and sophomore year. Put effort into your grades and GPA. People normally say your junior year is your hardest year in high school, but for me, it was my sophomore year. Like, it was just so, so stressful. I had so many hard classes my sophomore year. It was just too much to deal with. Your junior year, you're going to do a lot of testing. I'm talking ACT, pre-ACT, like all kind of testing. So go ahead and get all your hard classes and stuff out the way as a freshman and sophomore so you can just chill your junior and senior year so you won't have to do so much and try to get your GPA up at the last minute and stuff like that. Just try your best. Like don't let nobody try to put you down. Or not like that because your gpa or your grades try your best as long as you're trying your best that's all that matters tip number three eat that lunch <laughs> baby eat that lunch because that lunch be busting especially that pizza and um um bread sticks with the um the salt the red sauce i don't know what it's called right now i don't know i like a lot of the school lunch i ain't never been one of those where i was like oh, i'm not eating that school lunch i kind of was like that my freshman year because i was literally like what the fuck is this gross but when you eat it, it's actually pretty good. Now, some of the stuff like the macaroni cheese, for example, and the meatballs and shit, and them hot dogs, don't eat that. Huh? Because, baby, your stomach going to be told up. Don't eat that shit. You can eat it, but that's, th that's three things I, I made sure not to eat in high school for lunch. Don't try to be like them kids that be like, oh, I'm not eating that nasty ass shit. Baby, that lunch is good. Stop playing. And you know you be tearing that shit down when nobody looking. Okay, tip number four. Teachers are lazy and won't actually teach you, so be prepared to use Can Academy, math apps, all kind of stuff. Like high school teachers, like, after a while, they don't give a fuck anymore. Like, after the first or second week of school, they don't give a fuck anymore. A lot of the math teachers, actually, at my school, I don't know if they do that everywhere else, but at my school, they'll, like, teach you for, like, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and they don't give a thorough explanation and stuff like that like whole class confused and they just throw you worksheets for the most part no hate to teach y'all love y'all y'all are helping the education system and without y'all like we wouldn't better learn but a lot of y'all teachers don't be teaching or you teach but you don't know how to teach just be prepared to use math apps if you need some math apps dm me on instagram i got you just try to ask for as much help as you possibly can and if that still doesn't help try to get like a tutor or ask your parents or um, a friend or try to get some kind of resources try to help yourself out because you need it i'd rather you learn it than cheat i tried to learn like i try to learn certain stuff to the best of my ability but when it got to the point where i had to cheat i had to do what i had to do tip number five nobody cares about what you wear you got some people that do people like that they're insecure and they hate themselves so uh fuck them but other than those certain amount of people that think they just the shit and they're super cool um most people actually don't care what you wear you can come to school with sketchers on uh, android like i promise we don't care ain't nobody watching you that much i promise we don't care you can come to school with your hair looking all kinds of crazy like huh? don't nobody care you got some people that might talk about you a little bit but who gives a fuck like <laughs> More little story. Nobody really care what you wear. Like, do what you want. I don't care what you wear anyway. My opinion doesn't matter. And nobody else's does. So wear what the fuck you want to. Tip number six. Be kind at all times. I say this because you never know what nobody's going through. Not even that. It's just, it's good to be a kind person. Don't go around trying to be the mean girl and trying to bully bitches because you the biggest or whatever the fuck. Like, just be nice. If everybody just be nice, the world will be such a better place. I don't understand 
unnecessary hate and stuff. I don't have a hating bone in my body for no bitch or no nigga. Like, I don't. Like, do you be yourself. Like, just be kind. Tip number seven. The school is huge, so it's going to take a while to learn where all your classes are without your schedule. When they give you your schedule at open house, keep that schedule on you for at least a good two to three weeks to maybe a month. Because if you go to my school anyway, or most high schools anyway, or super big, I'm like super big, you're going to get lost. It's going to happen. You're going to get lost. And that's fine. But on your little schedule, it has like the, you know, every classroom has like a like three numbers like it's gonna be on your schedule just look for the num go to the number of the hallways like say 400 wing or 200 wing find the wing and then look at every door that's what i did look at every door and until you find the number of your class basically and tip number eight everyone else is somewhat nervous too i'm a senior and i'm nervous too should have saw me my freshman year i was so so nervous i was in my room crying like the week before i was in here panicking so bad because i was so scared to go to ninth grade it was insane i was in here literally losing my shit and i didn't know how to calm down like i couldn't calm down i was so fucking scared but then when you actually get there it's like bro this ain't even that fucking bad i was doing all that for nothing and i tend to do that over a lot of things like i just be overthinking stuff try not to overthink stuff just just go in there you know, confident, good head on your shoulders, ready to learn, ready to meet new friends. Like, don't be like me. Like, I'll be overthinking stuff way too much. And that's not good because it turns out, in the end, it don't even be as bad as you think it is. But everyone's going to be somewhat nervous. I'm an upcoming senior, and I'm going to be nervous on my first day, too. I might be acting all chill and shit, but baby, I'm just as nervous as you. Tip number nine. Ask the teachers, a friend, or a seer where certain classes are if you genuinely don't know where your classes are. Don't be scared to talk to people. They will help you. If you're a freshman and it's your first day and you don't know where to go and stuff like that, of course you're not going to know where to go because it's literally your first day. Don't be scared to ask a teacher or a friend that you know that might be older than you or like an upcoming senior. I'm a senior. If you see me at school and you're a freshman, don't be afraid to say hi and ask me like where to go. I'll tell you where to go. Like I ain't never been... I'm, I'm very friendly, but don't be scared to talk to people and stuff. Like, you genuinely don't know where to go. You don't know where the cafeteria at, the gym, because that was me on my first day. I, I was asking random, I was asking random hella people where to go because I did not know where to go. Even with my schedule in my hand, I did not know where to go. So I asked lots of teachers and stuff. Tip number 10, it's okay to fill a class. It's not that deep. It is okay to fill a class. Just try not to fill too many, especially if you're a freshman. Try not to fill too many classes, but... Don't don't be crying and, and all sad if you fail one class. It's okay, I promise. Majority of the people in high school fail at least one class. Tip 11. It's okay to be alone. You do not need friends. The same people you might sit with during your freshman year will most likely not be your friends your senior year. And I stand on this because as you grow older every year, people grow and things change and you, you become different. Like, you get older... The people that you might be friends with now in middle school, you probably most likely aren't going to be friends with them in, like, high school throughout your years. And that's okay. And he, and if y'all are still friends, congratulations. Because I got some friends that I go way back with. We still cool to this day. But most likely, people change and drama and, and shit happens. It's, it's life. Shit happens. So... Yes, you might fall out with a friend. The, the friends you had your freshman year might not be your friends your senior year, and that's okay. Like, life goes on. Literally, it's okay. It's okay to be alone, too. Don't feel like you have to fit in or be in a group or talk to people because you don't like to look alone, if that makes sense. My whole entire high school year, I was alone. I sat at lunch alone. Uh, for the most part, anyways. I'm going to lie, my freshman and sophomore year, I sat with a couple of friends, but they wouldn't really talk to me like that. And when we did talk, it wasn't really about nothing for real. Like, I'm just more quiet and reserved. But if you're outgoing, then you'll, it'll be easy for you to make friends if you're outgoing. But me, I'm shy, I'm reserved. Uh, I have social anxiety, too, if y'all didn't know. I, I, like, I, I just can't make friends as well as 
other people can like that's just me um i'm done yapping um i gave y'all living tips i'm stopping now because it's getting hot and i'm getting tired and i don't want to make the video too long for y'all because i'm a yapper like when i get to talking i can talk forever so if you really want a part two let me know i plan on making a part two anyways because um i have so much more to say but as of now we're gonna stop it here so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you enjoyed this video Comment down below other things you'd like to see from me and my channel. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. Without further ado, I'm Heaven and y'all my angels. And I love y'all. Bye.